Lisa Thompson, always a willing runner. And an excellent clearing kick from Thompson. Hi, I'm Lisa Thompson and I play centre for Scotland Women. I come from a little borders town. I got chucked in when I was little and I've just loved rugby ever since. I think I'm quite chilled. Runner. Another big hit in midfield. Thompson does the dirty work trucking it up. First memories are definitely down at Mansfield Park in Hoyke. Going down as a little five year old tomboy with all the boys. I just remember hitting tackle pads upright, no idea what was happening. I just loved, loved playing rugby, loved hitting things. <laughs> really good attack and then a crunching tackle from Thompson. I think I probably started taking it seriously 15, 16. Melrose ladies had a team and I could play women rugby there and there'd be more games every week. Since then, it's been my massive dream of mine to just represent my country as, as often as possible. We are here at Scotston in the west end of Glasgow, the home of Glasgow Warriors, where Scotland host France, perfect for some entertaining rugby. France is it's an exciting game for us, especially at home. They hate coming over at Scotstoun. They usually play late out in France as well, so usually a lunchtime game for them is not the one. Scene is set. What excitement and drama awaits those fans here to cheer on their heroes this afternoon. Scots have kick off moments away. Had Lock Loman playing just before kickoff. That, like, yeah, really makes the hair stand up in the back of your neck. It's a special feeling. I think only Scottish people will get that. And everybody loves it. Everybody sing along, and it makes you proud to be Scottish. <laughs> you know, it was a physical encounter yesterday. They throw off loads. They're a wee bit rogue with it. So we were just looking to be switched onto that. And, I think it's just trusting the process a lot of the time, particularly with kicking stuff. Everything that you practice is there for a reason and you just need to trust everything you do. Martinson, whoa, can she get it out wide? She can, it's Chloe Royal to score for Scotland! The support that we have is incredible. Young girls and older girls even still want to get selfies with you, still want to get your autographs. It makes you realise that we're still inspiring them. Friends and family are just always proud. Whatever the result, they're always there smiling. Parents were there yesterday, and granny and my brother, so it was nice to see them after the game. Our team is full of legit real heroes. We've had so many 50 caps over the past few weeks. It's like, so, so inspiring to to me and definitely to a lot of the younger girls coming through, like we're getting first caps and 50 caps all in the same week, which is crazy. So it's a good environment to be in. We're a great bunch of mates. We get excited to go back into camp to see each other and catch up and sit in the team room, shooting the breeze for hours, stay up far too late, chatting, or you've got Rona Lloyd who's making TikToks all the time. <laughs> It's an exciting time for women's rugby. It's moving pretty fast at the minute. I think I'd like to see our pathways keep growing, number of girls playing rugby keep growing. We just want to keep pushing that and um, yeah, get, get more people playing rugby in more competitive games. I don't do much else. <laughs> rugby is life. <laughs>